Hello, Steve White, Steve Outs 89. Well, um, we've got some news on DC Comics. It's kind of interesting, um, because DC has kind of been, well, the comic book industry has kind of been pulled into the culture wars, like a lot of stuff. And there's a lot of fighting, basically, there's, there's, um, I mean, comic books are not selling as well as they used to, and manga is selling very well, and there's a push for independent artists, and some people see this as a, um, a, a way for people to produce comic books that are racist and sexist and homophobic and don't have to deal with diversity or representation or, or political correctness. Other people see it as an opportunity for people to just tell their own stories and um, to sort of be free from sort of the bigger companies telling them you have to do this, this, this to sort of, you know, appeal to the masses and having more freedom. So there, there, there's a lot of, in the whole comics gate um, thing, and there's a lot of changing opinions and so forth, and it's, it's getting quite messy. But um, there's a new rumour now that DC is basically downsizing and they go into the hot desk model and they're no longer going to have an office. So DC, this this legendary big, um, you know, um, comic company apparently doesn't have an office anymore and people are saying this is a sign that they're failing, that they're dying, that they don't have, they're not making any money, they're not selling any comics. And let's be real, even if they were the biggest selling comic, even if they were still as successful as they were like 10 years ago, if they thought they could save money by having people work from home and shutting down an office, they'd do it even if they were profiting. So that doesn't mean anything. Um, this is happening to a lot of offices and a lot of people are seeing this where people are staying home, people are working from home and not working and not coming into the city and a lot of people that were spending a lot of money on city office space are now saving that by having um, people work from home or having um, centres elsewhere that um, people are working from and not sort of having this traditional city office 9 to 5 sort of, you know, go to work, train into work and sort of, you know, that that is a model that is, is has been shown doesn't always work and we've learnt through you know the recent crisis that people can work efficiently from home and some people prefer it and some people don't want to go back to their offices so this is not proof that the industry is dying because the argument from Comicsgate and that is that the industry is dying because they're being political and um, this is proof um, so yeah and, and I, I am aware that comics are not selling as well and I do think a big portion of the fan base has been turned off by overt political, you know, messaging and stories and so forth, but um, I don't think it's as bad as the, the other side is making out. They, the, every, every story that they have is, oh, the mainstream is failing, the mainstream is failing because they want the mainstream to fail because they want to replace it with their independent comics where they can say whatever they want and be as racist and sexist and homophobic as they want. Um, and yes, there are others who just want to tell their own stories and they don't have any issues with diversity. And, um, you know, there are the other um, groups who are very much pushing diversity in politics and gender politics and everything because they see art, comics, TV movies not as... Um, um, seeing them basically just as platforms for politics, not really seeing them as, as art or, or as opportunities to tell stories and communicate with people and connect with people. They just see it as somewhere to, to preach. And that turns a lot of people off, um, and that's just the reality of it. Um, even if that's wrong, it's, it's still happening. So I, I know that the comics, comics industry is not doing as well as it used to, but saying that this is proof that they're failing and they're dying um, is a bit of a stretch because, like I said, a lot of officers are doing this, and even if they were just you know selling like crazy and making profit everywhere, um, which apparently they're not, even if they were, they'd still shut down an office if they thought it could save them a dollar. That's that's just business. That's just, you know, capitalism and tight, you know, people, you know, tight budgets trying, budgets trying to save money. So I just found it really funny that people are really pushing this angle that, oh, they're shutting down the office, this, this means the industry is dead and they want it to die because, you know, they want to do their own thing. So there's, there's an agenda there, there's a narrative there, and they're definitely spinning and trying to, to, you know, portray something a certain way. And I find it kind of funny, um, but I kind of found it annoying. I was watching a couple of videos from people and they were just so committed to this narrative that just anything that happens, they just twist it into that. Even if it's, even if it's not obviously that or um, it's a stretch and it's just kind of weird and funny to watch. And I just want to comment on it because it just made me think and I want to talk about it. Um, so I did a video, so here I am. So um, thanks for, you know, listening to my little bit of YouTube therapy because it really annoyed me when these people were like, because just 
there's so many people who are just attacking mainstream media all the time because they see it as, you know, um, left and, you know, it's all about politics and it's just, it's just really annoys me. So I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.